Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks search and destroy video. Obviously we are continuing on with our supply ship. I'm actually really, really enjoying building this right now, and I just seen someone's comment on one of the previous videos that said, because you aren't using the helicopter idea anymore, why don't you actually attempt to use the helicopter idea by attaching a, like a helipad to the top of it? And I was thinking, you know what, maybe that's a good idea, well I mean it's a bad idea because uh, we're already a little bit off balance, but I figured why not give it a go. Let's go ahead and put a helipad on top of this. Let's see. Okay, so if we were to add a helipad to the top of this, how tall would it actually have to be? It would have to be, like, taller than this, so it would have to go to about there, but one higher. There we go, so it would have to be that tall, which is kind of insane. Uh, and if we wanted to land a helicopter on it, we could actually land it pretty close to this now. Uh, so the helipad would actually only have to be about this big, which does make sense. That's very cool. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and do this. All right, delete this one. Yes. And we'll actually put this back in just like this and we'll make it this big. Okay. Uh, with that being said as well, though, if I do attach to this and we drag it a little bit bigger than that. There we go. Let's say to about there, a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. Okay, it is going to continue to come out, so let's say oh, out to here. There we go. Good. Is the actual depth charge thing still going to work? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, guys. I really don't like the idea. I mean, I love the idea of doing this, but I don't like the idea of doing this. If that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't, but like, still. It, it, it still stands. My, my, my words still stand. Uh, we're going to do it anyway. Um, yes. <laughs> Pretty weird, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so I don't want it to be like fully square either, so we are actually gonna go ahead and like box off the edges like this, or corner the edges like that. Uh, we're actually gonna go backwards a good chunk like this as well. Three, four, there we go, and then one there. Okay, and then one there, one there. All right, cool. So the way this is gonna work then is these guys right here are gonna go like that. And then if we can grab one of these guys, we can actually put this in right here, and we can put this in right there. Okay, so helipad can be added if we want to, which is weird. I don't know whether I like this idea or not, but here we go. We'll go ahead and put that right there. And we'll build it up so that it attaches to the bottom. There we go. And we'll do another one right next to it. There we go. Which is exactly the same thing. There we go. That's going to attach on like that. That's going to attach on like that. And yes, it looks weird, but I like it. I really like it. That's so weird. All right, cool. We're actually going to go ahead and build this up. Uh, using these guys too. There we go. That's gonna look like that. I'm gonna delete that one. That's gonna look like that. Okay, so we got our helipad. Let's go ahead and paint the outside of it. Whee! Uh, just like this. It's actually gonna go all the way around the outside. And that's fine. There we go. And this has changed from like a patrol ship into something like extraordinary. It is like, it's a bit of everything. Not gonna lie. So there we go. Something like that actually works. And that doesn't even look too bad to me. That works. Okay, so with all that being in then, let's go ahead and paint the outsides as well. That obviously needs this little feature right here, which is essentially just painting the outskirts uh, like this. There we go. That's all good. It does mean we'll have to paint these pieces as well, which is fine. There we go. Uh, and that is actually A-OK. -okay. Then, if we wanted to, we could actually put some lines on like this. And uh, to be honest, that will be it. There we go. Put a line there, put a line there. And we should be able to land on that. That's weird, but I like it. All right, cool. Uh, final thing then, just for the back end. Uh, we are going to add some more support uh, to this, which is going to be in the form of this guy right here on this corner, like this. It's going to come down and fit, hopefully. Here we go. So this is going to fit like, like that. Yep, there we go. And we're obviously going to put this bit in as well on this side so that hopefully it fits a little bit nicer. And there we go. We'll do something like this. There's our supports. That's all fine. And we'll grab one of these. We'll invert it. Turn it around. Whack it on right there. And that is a helipad added to the back of our patrol ship. <laughs> so weird. So weird, but I like it. Very weird, but I like it. Okay, right. So we are obviously very off balance when we already use this thing. Um... And we need to go ahead and make sure that we are not off balance when we do use it. So, we're actually going to go ahead and add a chunk of weight to the bottom of the ship 
like a big keel. Here we go, like a big chunk of weight right there, like that. Right, just gonna make it a little bit bigger, like this. And we're just gonna whack these pieces on, like that, like that. And then we'll do the same at the back. And there we go. So if we attach this on, uh, like this, there we go. And like this, then it should be a little bit lower in the water, which is fine. And that is actually perfect. Okay, good. Good. Guys, I'm enjoying building this. I really am. But, like, I've done the same thing I do with a lot of my builds. Uh, and you might be asking what that is. Well, I've added everything. <laughs> I've tried to do everything you guys have asked me to do, and this is what we've ended up with. Okie dokie, it's time to see if it fits. This is our one-person helicopter. Let's see if we can actually just fit this on the tippity top of here. And if it fits, I'm going to be super happy. And you know what? It does. That actually fits really nicely. Uh, which is so weird, but it works. It actually works. There we go. We don't have to worry about hitting the funnel now. Uh, we do have to worry about if we are actually moving the ship. Obviously, the exhaust from the funnel is going to smack straight into the helicopter pilot's face. But I'm sure that's fine. That's good. Yeah, I like that. The little helipad. Cool. Oh, that does mean, though, that we can't actually have a anti-aircraft gun on the back now, which uh, I said in the previous video, which is a little bit annoying, because it would be good to have one. But to be honest with you, we don't need one, so that's okay. We do need a way of getting up there, though, so we're going to delete these guys and put some stairs in. That'll be fine. If we go this way, let's have a little look at this. Deck lights, nav lights, spotlights, side camera monitors. We can still see past the helicopter, which is perfect, and cabin lights as well. Okay, we need a way of, like, fastening that helicopter down. Uh, but other than that, that's great. We should also have a way of refueling this helicopter. And then in the future as well, in another video, we're actually going to go ahead and put in some uh, firefighting points around the ship too, because that's very important. We also need to add bilge pumps everywhere. There's, there's a lot to do still, even though we've got to this point where it looks nice. Or it looks like it'll work properly. It still is not finished. Oh, there we go, see? That's why we need to fasten it down, otherwise things like that will happen. See ya! The shit, the helicopter has actually fallen off. <laughs> never mind, never mind, it's fine. Alright, cool. I'm actually really, really happy about this. That's awesome. Okie dokie, so now it's actually time to delete these guys. There we go, we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, some stairs. Here we go, and we'll put them straight in. They're gonna be this color. And we are actually gonna be able to see straight through, which is weird. But I like it. I like it a lot. Here we go, turn this around. I can't actually put it on the way that I want to. Never mind. Grab a bottom one. Make it the right color. And I want to be able to see through, remember? That's kind of interesting. We can see straight through to the bottom. That's cool, though. Yes. All right, good. We can still get to our helicopter. Our helicopter for right now. How am I going to fasten it on? How am I actually going to fasten it on? Um, I think if we literally just add two pieces, right? Like this. And then we add a mag connector we had a connector let's say i don't know an electrical one on this side and a fluid one on this side uh like this then maybe we can actually just delete this piece all right get a white fluid connector whack that on there like that and that'll fasten that down and on this side we need a white connector here and that'll fasten that down maybe i don't know let's see what happens here yeah, I figured that might happen. <laughs> I figured that might happen because of the way that I've done it. But, um, yeah, we could add something that, like, bounces up and down that then attaches to. Actually, that's kind of a cool idea. All right, delete these for right now. And we'll add a, uh, a thing. We'll add a thing. A track? Okay, track. I'm not sure how I want this to work just yet, but bear with me. Okay, so let's say we have these. Okay. Uh, that go right there. Okay, on the deck. That's good. We'll make them red so we can see them. There we go. Awesome. And actually, we'll make them the right the right red. There we go. So we can definitely see them. Put them right there. And then get the connector. Like these ones. Whack it on like this. Alright, good. And then get a white connector. There we go. Whack it on like that. And then get a track. Do, 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 do. And then for landing, it just, like, it comes up, and it'll attach to it, and then it'll hold it on. I don't know. Will that work? I'm not sure. Go ahead and spawn it in. It'll require some, like, sort of precise 
landing, but at the same time, that's fine. That is actually fine. Alright, cool. So let me grab the helicopter real quick. We'll put a button in so we can actually disconnect. And then we'll try and land it properly. There we go. So three is going to be our disconnect and our disconnect. Let's see if we can take off and then actually land it back on our new landing pad. Let's do it. Not going to lie, it's been a little while since I've actually done this and I don't know what things are labelled or they're not labelled. But here we go. Right. We are running our helicopter. Go and press three. Disconnect. Okay, we're flying. Good, our helicopter works. That's that's a good thing. Okay, so now we're going for a landing. It's not the best. It's not the most capable helicopter as of right now. It also doesn't have any like proper landing stuff. But let's go down and go sideways. I can't even roll. There we go. And we'll try and land ourselves in the right place here. So it should come up and connect to us and pull us into the right place when we land. So if we go this way. There we go. We go across a little bit more. We press three. Okay. It's not looking amazing. But if we land it in the right place. There we go. One side's connected. The other side's connected. And then we just turn it off via this. Then we're good. I actually kind of like that system. Obviously, it could be hidden a hell of a lot more. But it works. That actually does work. That's cool. All right. Well, anyway. Um... We did it. We've added a helipad to our ship. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to do then is we're actually going to go ahead and paint these corners properly. So that bit's going to get deleted. This bit, this bit, and this bit's going to get deleted. And I'm going to go ahead and paint all of that in properly. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okie dokie. So I've done one and that is literally all you need to do because then you just go ahead and grab this guy. We go ahead and copy it and we put it in all the right places, which is this bit. There we go. Paste it right there, go across one, go down one, paste it again, move it across and down, and paste it again, then take it to the other side, press U, there we go, move it upwards, sideways, paste it, move it upwards, sideways, paste it, and then go all the way up to the tippity top, turn it around, paste it in, merge all of these together, and we have ourselves a very, very, very rudimentary, but very cool, helipad. There we go! Guys, I didn't think we were going to have a helicopter, but we do! We have a helicopter! Nice! Okay, so there is one last thing that we do actually need to check here. We need to check if the helicopter can actually withstand... Oh, sorry, the boat can withstand having the helicopter on board while actually driving around. And unfortunately, that is not the case. So we're going to have to come up with an idea of some sort of active stabilization for this. Uh, and that would be pretty cool. But obviously for right now... We're a little bit off balance because we've got a helicopter on board. But that's nice. We've added one. We've added the helipad. Thank you guys for the idea. It was just a comment and you guy, you, you were like, add a platform. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. So we have. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this thing in the comments down below. And we'll see what we can do in the next one. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.